Hey, welcome to Tech Bytes Mobile. Today we're going to be talking about mobile cards and how fast you can build real-time notifications for your employees to accelerate your workflows or other business processes. Let's get started. So we are in Business Application Studio and we want to get uh, start our mobile cards project. So there's one way to do it and I have shown this in previous tutorials where you can start here with a template. Today uh, we are going to start with uh, downloading a ready-made card already from mobile services. You can also download it from Push. And I'm downloading the productive version. There's a version 1.1. And here we go. We open up the cart. We have downloaded inside the metadata JSON. We see the name. We see the version of the cart we have downloaded. Um, we see that as a multi-instance cart. That means um, if there's multiple cards uh, fitting to the query, we will show multiple cards on the client. And then let's go to the important tab. This is the URLs where we're fetching the data for the cards. And the very big difference to all the previous tutorials and, and items I have shown is that here we have a subscription parameter. And this subscription parameter is ID1 of type string. And this is what's getting passed in with the push noti or with the push notifications from the backend. And we're using this parameter ID1 in our first query where we're fetching the task set. That means all of the open tasks for um, that customer with a certain address ID equal to ID1. And uh, we're expanding this to order, machine, and users, right? Then there's also a second query we're doing where we're fetching the orders for um, this customer and we're fetching the machine configuration, right? To be able to render the machine. Let's have a look also at the HTML of the machine and preview this. We go up preview, All right? So the card um, will look the following that it shows all of the information and the key uh, information here is that we, this is only test data, right? That we show the co right customer name, uh, company name here and the uh, ID here. And you can see that uh, from the fetched results, uh, we're showing this is how we embed the, uh, the data, the JSON uh, response, right? With the handlebars. And if we go and deploy this, I'll, before we deploy, we need to change the version number. Um, go and change this to 1.2 then we go and deploy this to the mobile services and we have a look at the device right now just to make sure um, what is deployed is nothing shows right so um, and see some cards are loading but not the card we uh, showed um, it's empty right so mobile cards is empty has also no new cards and now we go and switch to how we push. In order to um, be able to push, we need to have a use service keys uh, for the backend because we don't want to hard code any credentials from our admin users in there. So we have, we can use for the push user, we can use these service keys, right? Where we give them a username and we have a password here. And additionally, right, there's also the push address uh, this push goes to. And if we then go and look at the Postman, and this could obviously be also then any backend, this is just simulating a backend, right? We inserted here the credentials. And inside the body, we tell um, in the uh, post uh, call that we want to register a new card um, for a certain user. This is the card name we want to uh, have pushed. And this is the parameter we want to pass, right? And this is, uh, as we specified in the card, right? ID one, and we say it, hey, um, use customer ID set four, right? And if we go and get the simulator to the front right now, and you see there is no bubble on the mobile cards icon, and then we go and uh, press push here, uh, the bubble, a push notification goes out to mobile cards. So we got one new card. We open up mobile cards and uh, the Anavideon card has loaded. And if we put this a little bit to the side, we can see that uh, we have a new card um, for our customer, right? And so uh, with like 
And literally with no big efforts and no real big changes to the backend, we can bring real-time information to our users. And it's not only limited here to just uh, push uh, information out, right? Depending on what's inside the cart, right? This could also, uh, the user now could trigger a phone call or send an email with the right context, or uh, if needed, also just close the ticket. And, uh, this is uh, with the action performed, and you saw that the status changed to done on the ticket. And this is very simply done. If you uh, look under actions here, we explained this in a previous tutorial. You can basically just uh, do a REST call towards the backend on the task set and change the task status ID. So you saw how fast we can build a mobile solution for mobile cards and deploy that. Bringing this push capability to employees can ensure that important tasks are not missed in the common inbox. Right? So you users can download the app from our iOS and the Android app stores for free right and then get started and if you want to learn more about how to build mobile solutions for the enterprise visit us visit us at developers.sap.com/mobile enjoy the day